Hey YouTube, Long Boys Post 1975, uh, new camera angle. Uh, hopefully that will improve the really inconsistent light again in this room and you won't see those god awful glaring, you know, bulbs up there and I don't have to use my LED lamp which just makes me look pasty and like the walking dead. Um, I achieved this nice new camera angle with an absolutely state of the art fix. I'll show you what it is. Hell yeah, how's that for a state of the art tech fix, masking tape? So, um, a couple of points I just want to make. Uh, you're thinking, here we go, way up topic again. My next video is back to gaming. It's just, saw a really cool comment in one of my videos, and you know me, when I get an idea and it makes me interested, I have to answer it. Second of all, these are just my opinions. Third of all, I am not a scientist. So what I'm going to talk about in this is just my broad understanding of, you know, the topics involved. If you're an absolutely massive, through-the-roof ninja scientist, ninja scientist, that would be cool, um, don't, you know, go absolutely heavy-handed on me or whatever. This this is, again, this is just my sort of brief understanding of the topic. Sorry, I keep looking down here. This is where my computer is. I'm still not used to looking here. But basically, as you see in the title, do you believe in aliens and UFOs? So the reason I'm making this video is my previous video was a video response to Dragon PS, Boxed, uh, Link in the Doohickey. He asked that really cool question, I had to answer it. And then a really, really cool YouTuber, David Lee T, also Boxed, also linked in the Doohickey, left a simple comment, like a one-line comment, and it was, do you believe in aliens and UFOs? And um, I can honestly say, unlike the previous topic, where I said I didn't believe in ghosts, but mm, not sure. Um, do I believe in aliens? Absolutely, 100%, hand on heart, I believe in aliens. Do I believe in UFO as well? It's an alien's car, isn't it? So if aliens exist, as they do, then UFOs exist. Now, here's where this gets interesting, why I had to make a video on the subject. Do I believe in aliens? Yes. But there are conditions attached to this. They don't detract from whether I believe in them or not. Like I said, there are some conditions attached to this. Just a few, I'm not going to go too deeply into it. But pretty much, I honestly believe they have never been to this planet. You know, I honestly believe they have never been to this planet. They have never visited us. You know, no one's ever been abducted. If you've been abducted or you think you've been adopt uh, adopted, ad abducted, sorry, that's just my opinion. Because, as I said, there's got to be life out there. You know, there's no way we're the only life form in, in the galaxy, in, in the universe, sorry. Because the universe is far, far too big. Like, again, I'm not a scientist, but... You cannot comprehend how big the universe is. You know, it's a freaking huge place. So just to think, think we are the only life in the universe, just, no, it cannot be like that. It cannot be like that. So, um, yeah. So let's get to my points and why I think they've never been to Earth. So um, my first point is a point of perception. And that would be, what would we look like to an alien race? Because obviously there is no life in the immediate systems or whatever it's definitely no life in our galaxy we know that so if they are you know uber far away on the other side of um the universe and they got this proper ninja telescope that lets them look at earth well i'm not an expert you know in these things but i do understand the concept of how fast light travels now if you've got to travel that far a distance and like i said we're talking uber uber over there because for the purpose of this video these aliens are over there Four blocks down, in fact. Um, so they got this massive ninja scope, and they're looking at us through this telescope, yeah. Well, they ain't going to see us now, are they? They're going to see us as we looked thousands and thousands of years ago, you know, maybe at the time of Christ. So aren't they just going to look at us like that and just go, what, what interest is this primitive species? So the other interesting thing would be on the, the case of perception. Put that aside and say they could look at us and have studied us because they're billions of years old and have studied us for our entire history. Do you know what the one thing they would come to, I'm pretty sure, conclusion-wise, is what a warmongering little shithole of a planet. Look at the sheer amount of hatred going on there, the sheer amount of people they've killed themselves, their own brothers, you know, their own species, you know, and then you've got the animals that we've hunted to, to, into extinction. Well, would you want to go and visit a place like that? I mean, no, you you treat Earth like the bully in the playroom, wouldn't you? You'd stay the other side of the grounds. You'd stay the hell away from him because you'd be like, well, what can I learn from these people apart from they're pissed off quite a lot of the time and they enjoy killing and hurting people. Plus, the other thing you probably got to ask yourself, as advanced as they were, if they could get there, would you want to? Because it'd be like, well, 
if he's killing his own species, what's he going to do to us? So my next um, point would be logistics. So you're this uber advanced species and you do have spaceships. Well, I don't care how, you know, technologically advanced you are. Logistics dictate that to get someone from where you are to someone over there that's that far away, you got to keep them alive. You know, suspended animation may exist, but that doesn't matter because you still got to have power for suspended animation. So maybe they're immortal in the center where they live a really, really long lifespan. So you just got to feed them. Well, you still got to find a substance to feed them that's never going to decay, that's never going to rot, you know, and that you can get the sheer quantity on to keep them alive for this period. And as I said, suspended animation and, and fueling a ship, you still need to find some crazy, batshit crazy way, in fact, of fueling your ship. You know, and, we, and people will say, well, they could have this amazing form of fuel on their planet. Well, maybe they have, but it, it's still, to me, the, the amount of work involved to do that would just be immense. And then you're going to say, well, they've got fast and the light travel. Well, that's all well and good, fast and the light travel. But the thing is, the sheer number of planets, black holes, you know, gravitational fields, pools, asteroids, crazy shit like that going on. Even if you've got fucking Uber Macintosh 8000 iPad 50, whatever, running your fucking light speed, you know, it's got a lot of work to do to get you there in one piece. So, you know, again, logistics, you know, food, power, things like that. To me, it's just, it's, it's a lot of work. Then you got an undiscovered environment, you know, fish out of water scenario. Like again, I, I keep checking this out there. As advanced as you are, you know, you've got amazing spacesuits or whatever. To go into an environment you've never been into, even if you've researched it, which would be incredibly difficult because you're on the other side of the universe, would just be, I don't know, too big a step to take. You know, take the example of the tribes that never come into contact, you know, in rainforest and stuff. Because there are still undiscovered tribes out there, mind. And when they do dis get, you know, discovered by the rest of the world. There's numerous uh, records of them dying because they'd never come into contact with the germs and the diseases we have, you know? So if that happens here on this planet, to to go all the way across the universe, to, to visit another planet that you've never been to before, to me would just seem too much of an uncalculated risk. Really hot topic now, um, lack of evidence. Now, before you all say there's a ton of evidence, there's an absolute ton of evidence, is there? Is there really? Like the Roswell incident? That doesn't work for me. I don't know. I, that could be anything, and I'll get on to that. You know, like Area 51. Um, do, do they have alien technology? The amazing things that have been seen above it, or when you used to be able to stand on that cliff edge or whatever and overlook it, you know, moving around that could not be explained. I'll tell you what Area 51 is. It's a military base. We all know that. The fact that they choose to deny it is whatever reason. I don't know. I think that just. I think it's deliberate. I think, you know, it, it it gets conspiracy theories going, you know, a good amount of conspiracy draws people away from serious subjects, you know, but yeah, the security involving it, pretty much that's quite simple, it's a military base, they obviously develop, I don't know, some form of something in there, but what is the military? It's what tips global power in your, you know, direction or safety of your country in your direction so you're going to go a damn long way to make sure that no one else gets their hands on that you know because that's supremacy basically that's world supremacy so also the, the things people have seen above it that just could not be ordinary planes or whatever what well, based on the planes you've seen now yeah but these planes you've seen now even the really really latest one have been in development for years you know you remember the f-15s been knocking around since the 70s one of the most maneuverable planes in the world has been knocking around since the 70s I mean, look at the Harrier jump jet. So what you, you see now, even if you look at the Retaliator, like that's state of the art, but it was developed a long time ago. So all you're seeing above there is stuff that's the next gen, you know, if that makes sense. Think consoles. What we're seeing was probably just the next gen of, you know, military hardware. If it was that, which I don't know, I even think it was that. Then you got crop circles. Crop circles are just a bunch of people with a peg, a piece of string and a dinner tray doing intricate patterns. Why? Because one of my mates at school got caught by, by a farmer doing it and his crop circle looked pretty shit up. Now before you say, oh, yeah, but these things are too complicated to be man-made. Have you seen some of the work by Michelangelo? You know, that painting on the roof? Just cheapened one of the greatest things ever, that painting on the roof. That's man-made. The Mona Lisa is man-made. You know, we could do some pretty, pretty impressive things when we put our mind to it. So crop circles, People cocking around in a field with a dinner tray, a piece of string, and a peg. 
who claim to be abducted, uh, abducted, abducted, fall into two categories. You got your out and out attention seeking whack job. You know that Discovery can use to fill up fifteen minutes on one of their videos because they know people will watch it like me and it's just someone who just wants to be on TV or seeks attention then you got the other one which is almost everyone who's ever claimed to be abducted has when they've been studied you know they found out that they have narcolepsy you know um, a state of sleep paralysis basically you're halfway your mind is halfway between waking and sleeping because what's interesting with these people is if you're narcoleptic you and I'm not a doctor this is just my general knowledge so if you are narcoleptic and I'm getting this wrong I'm sorry um, most people who are well people who are narcoleptic they go into REM sleep in 10 minutes that's the point where you dream it takes the rest of us an hour so they're paralyzed they can't talk they see all kinds of crazy shit going on but basically they're halfway between sleep and waking up so what they're seeing is not an alien it's it's a form of a dream. It's just obviously ter terrifying because of the sense that you don't realize that you're asleep and obviously you can't move. Again, anyone who's got this condition, sorry, just my understanding. So, you know, when people claim to be abducted, I don't buy it. So, yeah, interesting question. Dave, I had to answer this. I hope I haven't pissed anyone off or offended anyone royally. This is just my take on it. I do honestly believe aliens exist. I just don't think they've ever been here. I just don't understand why they would want to come here. You know, like the logistics evolved in what we would be to them. I, I just, you know, aliens exist. They've just never been here. Sorry for the video that's massively off topic, even by my standards, but I just had to answer the question. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll see you later.